Damon, and I'm here playing The Binding of Isaac with Ben talking in the background because this Woo! is not a two-player game. Woo! It'd be great if it was. Um, so, The Binding of Isaac, most people already probably know it. Cause it's a guy on the internet who's done 600 episodes of it. I mean, it's like pretty well known. Um, uh, yeah, it's a great game. Uh, it's a roguelike. You guys didn't. I'm not gonna explain. Press it start, the Ryan. Go. Um, Yes! I suck at this game. Ryan let me have it, but I, like, couldn't beat it, so I just gave up. He just rage quit. Kind of. Um, so... Thing, but actually, I was live streaming, and then I kind of, like, blew myself up with my own bomb, and I just went like, No! No! And I left. Oh, I remember that, yeah. So, um, you move around with the ASDF, uh, ASDW keys, uh, you attack, you shoot your own tears. you apply! Oh, my, what paper? You bomb which, with E or shift, but I usually use E. And then you use the spacebar item with space. I don't know why I'm bothering explaining what? these things, because most people already know. Um, but yeah, I reset my save file, if any of you were curious. Uh, because I figured that would be the best idea for a Let's Play series. Uh, this volume is loud. I thought I turned it down. Oh god, I just burped a little bit and a little bit of stuff Ouch. came. I'm not bad at this game, I just haven't played in a I while. I made a very big breakfast, and I ate so much that later that day, I I burped and I felt a little a little bit of egg. Like scrambled egg come back in Get my throat. Over there! Come on! So, so, so Ryan. Uh-huh, Ben? Let's talk about Inori. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty cool. I like I it. I freaking love her. A little <laughs> bit. Well, I can say that because it's fictional, but... See... If I'll you... tell your girlfriend about it, Ben! Oh no! Okay, please work. Fuck! Come on! One rock off? Are you kidding me? So, if any of you were curious and didn't actually know, that, that rock there that I was trying to get blown up is a tinted rock, which will drop souls, soul hearts and, uh... What's it called? Or an item when you blow it up. So I'm gonna use one of my bombs. Nobody was curious. Oh, thanks, Ben. You're welcome, buddy. Best buds forever. Woo! He was my big brother, best friend no, guy. You can't sing. For a period of time. <laughs> so basically, Inori, best thing ever. They took Internet Explorer and they're like, hey, people hate Internet Explorer. Let's do something to make them like it again. And it totally works. And now I'm using Internet Explorer. Really? Yeah. Are you actually- I didn't think you were actually using it, I thought you just... Yeah, I downloaded it to give it a shot, and I'm happy with it. Are you using it, like, more than Google Chrome and stuff? Yeah. Alright, so the item I just picked up was the Hourglass, which will sh slow all enemies in the room, and I think it's a four-room charge. That, or it's a two-room charge, one of the two. Anyways, they took- they took, uh, they thought, hey! What are all people who use the internet like? And what was the answer to that? Anime! So they took an anime girl, and they made her sort of the mascot for Internet Explorer. She's like a personification of Internet Explorer. And she's pretty cool. Pretty cool, Ben. Pretty cool. Pretty cool! Pretty cool! It's pretty cool, Ben! It's not... Okay, um, I'm gonna take the time to lower the game volume so I'll be right back guys and we're back uh, I just lowered the game volume a little bit because it was way too loud to be honest um, the white heart that I just picked up I forgot to explain the blue one that's a soul heart it's basically like armor uh, if you can't replenish them like you can the red hearts but they but there is no limit on them uh, and the white heart I just wait does he up. have a coat hanger through his head yes what the heck you want to know what you know want to want to know what that gives you it gives you tears up, then. A concussion? It gives brain? You, brain damage? It gives you tears up. Death? You want to know why it gives you tears up, Ben? Because it's a reference because to abortion. Because there's a coat hanger through his head? Because it's a reference to abortion. I don't get it. Uh, I, I'm not going to explain it. It's kind of... <laughs> I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> so, like I was saying, the white heart I just got... Uh, it, uh, it's called an eternal heart. If you get it to the next floor, it'll turn into a red heart. Or if you get another 
eternal heart. It'll turn if into a If you guys a haven't inferred it already, Ryan's the video game player who knows everything about the game, and then he's, like, very educated, and I just kind of play and suck and, like, am silly. But that's I mean, what you're here for. Yeah. When Ryan plays games, when we're watching him play, it's most likely going to be very organized. And it's going to be good. And then when you watch me play games, I'll be like, oh, no, I died. <laughs> so right now I'm watching Ryan play. But when I decide to play a game, he'll be watching me. Uh, and then I'll laugh at how badly yes. you fail. So yeah. I should probably explain the rooms. That's obviously the boss room. It's Each room has its own door. I thought we didn't need to explain this stuff because you figured that everybody would already know. I'm explaining it as I'm going. This is the item room. It's important to go to because, you know, you'll die otherwise. Yeah. Uh, it's all worm. fun in games until you die. So. What? <laughs> now I shoot an S of tears instead of them going in a straight line. A lot of people don't like this item, but it, it's a tears up, so I don't know why people have a problem with it. Uh, so. Well, that's an attractive boss. I know, right? Uh, so. Just to say this, because a lot of people might not know this, uh, Devil Room chance, uh, you have a chance of getting a Devil Room after the boss, uh, you know, everyone knows that, but, um... Yeah, totally, I knew that. Yeah, no, you're, you're an idiot. Um, I'm so nice. Um, but anyway, uh, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Um, uh, if you don't get hit on the floor... Oh, a radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. How wonderful. Can you become Spider-Man? No. Well, what's the point of it then? All right, so so the way Devil Rooms work, you obviously, it should be pretty obvious by looking at it, but instead of trading like health, uh, money or something for stuff, you tr trade health and you get items. So I just traded two of my red hearts for the pact, which is a little bit of damage up. It's not a full one damage up. Uh, and tears up. Cool. So yeah. Wow, ah. it's that useful. Yes. Uh, as I was saying, if you don't get hit on the floor, you get 99% um, Devil Room chance. You have a base 1%, and if you don't get hit on the boss, then you get another 34%. So the max you can get is 135 without any special modifiers. Um, and yes, 135%, Ben, because if on the next floor you get a de you you have the chance to get a Devil Room, it's multiplied by like one fourth. So that 135 is multiplied by 1 fourth, so that's like uh, 40 or something like that. Huh, what? I was I just fell asleep. Oh, thanks. No, no I was paying attention. The 140 up in the devil room and... Woo! Fun, fun, fun! Ben doesn't know anything, people, so just don't listen to anything he says. Oh, dang it. Hey, I know about reproduction. Oh. Oh? You know, one time I was sitting in a car with my mom driving to pick up my girlfriend so we could make cookies together, and I, I looked over to my mom and I gave her a straight face and I was like, "Mom, do you ever wonder how elephants have sex?" And the look, the look, she, the, the look she gave me was kind of like, uh, "How did I? How did I? How did? What did I? Where did I go wrong?" <laughs> but then we had a nice ten-minute conversation about animal reproduction, and I learned a thing. I see. Yep. So that this is the secret room. Secret rooms can be surrounded by one. Or, it has to be surrounded uh, by one or more room. Uh, you can bomb into them to get money. Ah, uh, that guy doesn't look too good. Nope. Somebody get that man a tic tac. <laughs> uh, anyway, so since I restarted, the end game for this will be the depths two, which is there's the basement. One and two. There's the, um, or rather the cellar. Like, there's alternate floors for each because of the DLC I have installed, which is Why you no good health? Uh, you because should... I have max health already. Um, all of my red hearts are full. Oh, right. I, I didn't realize that's how it worked. Yeah, yeah. Um, the blue hearts can be picked up even when they're full. That's why they're good. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. What the heck are. Th what is this? What kind of basement is this? This is the caves now. Oh, I thought we were in Isaac's basement or whatever. Well, well yeah, it starts in the basement and then it goes down into the caves. I don't understand this game. You're not supposed to! Why is it that all games made by the same company that made Super Meat Boy just have universes that have, like, no... Just don't make any sense. There's, a, there's an underlying storyline, it's just you have to figure it out. 
Well, I mean, if you think about it, games in Valve have at least some sort of realisticness to them. But then games by this company are just like, eh, meat men walking around exploding from touching salt. You know. Well, this storm. is based off of... No, 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 none of this is supposed to be real. Like I told you, it's supposed to be he's like dreaming or whatever. Oh, I didn't know that. I told you that. I don't remember things. I'm sorry. Oh, I should remember that you don't remember things. Maybe you're the forgetful one. Plot twist. Dun, dun, dun! Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. All right, so I got to remember that I have to try and get the characters unlocked again because I didn't... I'm going to try... There was this one time, Ben, where I unlocked every single character almost in one run, and it was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. No, but that's actually really hard to do, and I've never seen anyone do it. But. Yeah, before we started recording, when we were just doing some practice runs, Ryan got, like, really good runs, so I'm like, ah, well, sucks for you, time to start recording. And so, then had to... for those of you who know Binding of Isaac Talk, I got the Halo in the first fucking item room, and then I got, like, the small rock directly after that, shooting red tears, I mean, Jesus, I was, like, destroying everything, and I had to restart, and it sucked. Uh, so this is the Fallen, which is a really bad boss to be fighting because he's really, really hard. But, uh, he, remember the Devil Room items? How I said that you have to pay health for them? Yeah. Uh, that's because they're usually good, and the Fallen drops Devil Room items instead of Boss Room items. Ah! For free, so. Ah, I need to stop getting hit. You need to not die, please. That would be nice. If you did die... Didn't. Uh, Didn't. Uh, uh. Alright, there we go. Dead. Aw, oh, dang it. Really? That's what I got? <laughs> Is that a dead squirrel? It's a cat. Oh, well, that's okay then. I'm not gonna pick that up. No. Pick up the dead cat. Uh, what that does, if which should make sense, uh, it gives you nine lives. Like, you'll respawn nine times, but you it, it brings you down to one red heart. Uh, well, then it's like having nine health. Oh, yeah, but... It's not worth it, trust me. Okay. It's only worth it in situations like... It's worth it in some situations, just not this situation. Those things are freaking creepy looking. <laughs> Maggots. We should. We need to play TF2, Ben. No. No, I mean... For, like, the channel? Or? No, just in general. The uh, Halloween I don't know. update came out, and I want to play. I'm not very good at games. <laughs> well, I know that, Ben. I mean, console games are what I was brought up on, so I'm pretty freaking good at console games, but when it comes to PC... That's why I play a lot of platformers with controllers. I don't have a controller, and my computer's junk. Oh, I mean, that's true. Get a better computer. This is dark! God! What? This game, did, did, did people being hung all around? Oh yeah, it's a shop, yeah. That's morbid! Wait, his legs are falling off! And the fly is buzzing around it, yes. Oh, that's nice. Family friendly. So, Mr. Boom, it's a bomb. I see. <laughs> it's my spacebar item. I have a bomb for a spacebar item now. Mr. Boom looks so happy. Well, I mean, the good thing about it is it recharges every every room, I think. So that's like unlimited bombs almost. But I mean, it's not that good as an item. Uh huh. Oh. Is it just as powerful as a bomb? Hit the TNT. Hit the TNT. It, it actually it actually does more damage than a bomb. I think regular bombs do 20 damage and Mr. Boom does 60 damage, but uh, you can get an item called Mr. Mega, which gives your bombs, like, which can make your bombs into the same kind of bomb that you use. When... Let's see. Oh, it's a two-room charge. I thought it was a one-room charge. Anyway. Down to the next floor. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right. Or if so... he gets good reception with those antenna through his head. Yeah. Uh, you come up with the funniest things, Ben. Oh, I think, Ryan. You're welcome, Ben. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, what, do you think we should record multiple episodes of this, or, like, maybe do some Terraria, since you actually have good internet? Or yeah, I don't... We, we have a bunch of episodes of Terraria still to be uploaded. Which, speaking of, I need to upload one today, shit! Yeah, it's fucking ah. How, how long of episodes are you recording of this? 40, that's... Or... 40 minute episodes? No! Ben, that's how long the game is. 
Well, you should record 10 minute episodes then, so we can have four, four, uh, no, four episodes. No, no, Ben, no one does that. Like, actually, no so one does that. So good! So this Innovation! Is, so this non is non-conformative! So, so, so the thing I just picked up is called $3. Yeah. <laughs> The thing, I, the thing I just picked up is $3 bill. It'll give me a random tier effect every room. Like on this room, I have Mom's Contact, which freezes enemies. So, it's useful. Mom's Contact. Okay. Do you get it? Do you get it, huh? Do you get it, Ben? It's funny. Funny. You know what the funniest part is? What? You don't I get do it. not. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it, the, Whoa. The, the joke is that you'll freeze at the sight of mo your mom or whatever. So oh, you know, yeah. I know I freeze at the sight of your mom, or you could say she freezes at the sight of me. Oh <laughs> no! Sorry. Yes, that's just terrible. Ryan's mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Die, Ben. This is really random and off-topic, but did your mom have an accent at all? A little bit. Okay. Cause I've like heard her in the background of our calls, and it sounds like she has like a New Jersey accent. New York. She's oh, New, New York. York. New York. Ah! Oh, I should have picked up dead cat. God damn it! Oh, adds an extra heart, I assume. No, you see these two? Yeah. If you pick up three guppy items, these are—that's what it's called. That's what the cat is called. Uh, you turn into guppy, which is a ridiculously powerful thing that like uh, does. Should have listened to Ben and got the cat. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to afford Guppy's paw anyway, so I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, but it just bugs me a bit. Just bugs you. I get it because you're killing bugs. It just, <laughs> it just, <laughs> Ben, it just grinds my gears. Grinds my gears, Ryan. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. What is so, this room? Uh, Super Meat Boy poster. So this is the arcade. Uh, you can, this is a blood bank if you were curious. Oh. So you trade hearts for money? Oh, I'll teach you that in real life. Uh, one. Hey guys, we're back! Welcome back uh, to the show that never ends, it's Leonidas Gaming. I don't know when it uh, cut off, but what happened was I had too much stuff on my disk drive and it actually like stopped the recording because of it. Ryan's Gaming Bites full! So I had to go delete like a few games on Steam. Ryan's computer's fat! It was all full, so we went to the gym, we worked it out, and we said, hey, you need to lose some weight, and we lost all these gigabytes, so now we're good. Yep. Alright, so I need health, badly. Hey, Ryan. Uh-huh. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Michael A.L. Fox or BizSnap. More specifically, what YouTuber do you, what, what, what YouTuber are you fond of and why? Like, what individual on YouTube? Uh... I don't know. I, hold on. You have to give me some time to think about this. Well, you think I'll explain to mine. You see, I am a fan of Ego Raptor. I like Ego Raptor for many reasons. One, he kind of has the style of humor that I find most hilarious, where it's like really over the top, exaggerative yelling and stuff. I like that. And I've noticed he... you tend to do it yourself. Yeah, I try. <laughs> Not as funny as Ego Raptor, but. Like not even close, but he he's very real too. He seems yeah. just like a guy. Cause he could go from being super dry and like, yeah man, everything's cool, everything's cool, and then the next minute he's like, fuck! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! So yeah, I like him. I like Michael A.L. Fox because he's really chill and cool and he's a really good spunky player too. What's this guy isn't there a guy that you've recently been watching? What's his name? Bitstamp. No, 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 it's, uh, the sincere one. Oh, uh, oh, Markiplier, he's a pretty cool guy, but he, he, a lot of people like Markiplier. I was going for someone who's less known, but yeah, Markiplier's a really cool guy. Yeah. He's kind of like PewDiePie, but he's a cool guy. I like him. Yeah, PewDiePie's cool too, I like him. I, I, I don't like PewDiePie's content as much. He's, pro he's probably a cool guy, but I don't like his content as much. I'm just mm. not, a, it's just everyone has their own preference, really. Well, at the moment, I mean, I, I hate to go on the internet feeling about how busy of a person I am, but I mean, I haven't really watched much of any YouTube videos at all lately. Yeah, yeah. everyone's I mean, hogging Ben. Yeah, I've seen, like, I watched two episodes of Game Grumps because I freaking love Game Grumps to death. Oh, I know, right? You yeah, love them. I watched them a little bit today since today's Saturday, but that's the first YouTube videos I've watched all week. Ah, I see. I've, I watch YouTube videos in bed every night, like on my iPhone. 
that I just got. Oh yeah, guys, I got an iPhone 5S. Uh, I'm not, I'm not super happy about it because it makes me realize how bad Androids have gotten nowadays. Like they used to be good. I really liked my old Android phone, but like they all suck now. So I was like, fuck, I have to get an iPhone because all these suck now. Kind of sucks. The first phone I ever had was a Samsung Galaxy S3, and I really loved it. And then I went to film that uh, good old days music video that's on my channel, mm -hmm. and I left it somewhere. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. I was there, and we, I, I set it down, and then we left, and then I went, I came back to the film site to try and find it, and, it and was somebody, gone. no, somebody took it, and they, like, threw it into a mud puddle and smashed it. So my trashed. Wow. Yeah, That's we never like, found out who did it. such it, a terrible thing to do. Yeah, the only reason that I know that, like, somebody must have done it is because the place that we put it... It was underneath that place in a mud puddle, but if it had just fallen off of that space, it wouldn't have been far enough of a distance to break it the way it was broken. Uh, so yeah, that's why we think somebody broke it, but we never found out who. Yeah. Now I have an older version of the same phone, which is not as good, but I can't complain. I have a phone, so. Yeah, but I got the iPhone 5S, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It, it, I mean, they're good phones. I just don't love Apple that much. The guy in the middle there, he's like, Yay! Oh no, I'm scared! Now. Yay, money! Yay! That's what I don't know, that's what he looks like to me. Oh, keys, yes! That's what I was going for. Yay! No! Alright, so I got a soul heart and some more money for that. You soulless monster. I am. You just gave him your money and then you just killed him. He's a bit of an asshole sometimes, so I don't feel that bad. Okay. Oh. oh. Ben. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ah, green, you bastard! You bastard! Uh, you bastard! Who? Who? Greed. Yeah, but. What? What? The accent or whatever I was doing? No, I'm just confused as to why. As soon as you saw him, you're like, you bastard! Greed! Yeah. Oh, I was pissed off because that's the shop, and what happens is, past the caves too, or catacombs, you have the uh, potential to, uh, instead of there being a shop, it be greed instead, and you don't get an item then. Oh, he just tries to take your money? Yeah, and yeah. kill you? Yeah, ah. pretty much. He's an ass. Oh, uh, I see. I'm trying to get 52 cents, because then I unlock a new character, and I can play as him in the next episode. Oh. Oh, damn it. I mean, this is not bad, but I mean... IV bag? What's an IV bag? It's a portable blood bag. Oh, good. It's, you know, the thing that you put. Well, I know what it is, but <laughs> I mean, like, what is in the game? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm on the depths now, or Necropolis, which is just fantastic. I might die here, by the way, because I'm being ridiculously uh, ballsy. So... I see. I am not playing carefully at all, so... Because, like, most of the time when I play this, I've beaten the game. Like, I, I didn't need to worry about winning or not. So, I just do crazy things, because I can. Uh, hold on. Uh, what? Ah. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Move. Oh. Ah. Ryan, you're gonna die. Almost. I, I just about did there. Maybe you should stop donating your blood. Well, for money. Oh, and he's dead. I am dead. So, that was only 23 minutes, so I think I should probably do another run. After um, traveled back to England. Uh, actually, no. This is a good enough first episode. I'm not gonna go any longer than this. So, Ben. Ah! Game! Game is gone! Okay. Okay. And they greeted us with guns and germs and steel. Stop singing. You know what? There's a guy on YouTube, his name is Paint, and I really like him because he makes cool stuff. Uh -huh. And in one of his songs that he sings, uh -huh. one of his lines is, um, uh -huh. he's singing about Pocahontas. Uh -huh. You know Pocahontas, right? Uh -huh. you, you know Pocahontas, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, it, and it's like, what would happen if uh, the story continued afterwards? So it's like... Um, I can murder if I please, cause I'm dying of disease. And then the, it, it continues, and then the ending line is like, I've got STDs. 
And then he sang it on stage in front of a live audience at VidCon. And the audience at that line, so it was like, I've got STDs. And the audience was like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, we are done here for this episode. Guys, thanks for, thanks watching. for watching. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, I'm Binding on Isaac. Tell us, those of you who actually comment, and can comment because of Google+. Plus. You know, plus. tell us ah. uh, what you thought, and we will see you in the next episode, hopefully at least. Bye. Or will we? Find out next time. Goodbye. <laughs>